Good evening, everyone. We'll give it a minute for uh, people to log on. Good evening. Hope everybody's uh, adjusting to uh, the fallback to standard time. So I know it was a bit of a shock for me to look out the window and see the sun setting before I left work today. It's been a while since that happened. But uh, while waiting for people to log on, I kind of go through what I did to kind of help mitigate the uh, forced jet lag. So tended to stay up about half hour later, you know, for two days before the uh, switchover on Sunday, and then was getting up at my usual time uh, in the morning time, wearing the darker uh, blue blocking glasses in the morning time, so the brain still thought it was nighttime. I then went out for the sunrise and let the sun act as the, uh, the zeitgeber that it is, which is the time giver. That's what helps with um, setting your circadian clocks by the light entering your eyes and activating the supercosmetic nucleus. So the jet lag uh, mitigation protocol that I used to travel to Europe a couple of weeks ago uh, was just much more uh, shorter implemented for this uh, one hour uh, fall back. So uh, tonight going to chat about kind of the uh, test called the carotid interval medial thickness test. That test is what measures the uh, arterial age. You know, I posted earlier in my story about uh, the English physician Thomas Sintheim. Uh, he was a physician in the 1600s and he has a pretty famous quote, uh, man as old as his arteries. Or as my uh, friend uh, kind of uh, texted me today that uh, her arteries are younger than biologic age. So I said, well, a woman is as young as her arteries then. So the uh, carotid interval medial thickness test is an ultrasound. It's the second test that we look at for the health of the arteries. Last week, we talked about the CT coronary calcium score, the CAC test. That's essentially like a mammogram for the heart. Calcium is supposed to be in your bones and teeth. It's not supposed to be building up in the walls of your artery. But that's a later stage finding when the arteries start to calcify. If the arteries calcify, there's also soft plaque present. The CT coronary calcium score test does not uh, evaluate for that soft plaque. And it's generally that soft plaque that is the problem. It's the soft plaque that tends to rupture like a pimple and then the blood clots, and that's what causes a heart attack or stroke. So the test that looks at the salt plaque would be the carotid interval medial thickness scan. That's an ultrasound, uh, so no radiation. The test takes about 10 minutes, and it's using an ultrasound probe that people you know, probably have seen you know, for scanning the hearts or scanning you know, to look for uh, the fetus size and such. But there is another carotid scan that I want the people not necessarily to uh, confuse it with, but there's something called the carotid duplex ultrasound. That's a test that if you know the doctor puts a stethoscope on your neck and they hear a brewery or they hear an abnormal flow through that artery, it'll sound kind of like your finger over a garden hose and you hear a whooshing, that tends to indicate you got a pretty severe stenosis or blockage in the artery in your carotid. You know, generally it's gonna be at least 50%, maybe 70% blocked or more if you can actually hear it with a stethoscope. So they send you for a carotid duplex ultrasound, which measures how fast the flow is in the artery. But that test basically will just tell you the blockage is less than 50%, greater than 50%, greater than 70%. That's all it's going to tell you. It's greater than 70%, you need aggressive medical therapy. And if you had a previous TIA or stroke, you know, your doctor may talk to you about you know, potentially even sending you for surgery to remove the plaque in the artery. That test for that surgery is called a carotid endarterectomy. So don't want you to get that test incorrectly. The test I'd recommend people consider getting is called a carotid intimal medial thickness test or CIMT. Similar probe, but they use different uh, software packages. So the carotid scan that I recommend will look at two major things. It'll look at the thickness of the intima. The intima is the inner lining of your blood vessels. The intima should normally be very thin. The thicker the intima, the more inflammation is in the intima. Inflammation is your immune system turned on. So if your intima is inflamed and thickened, there's more room for the lipoproteins, which are the you know, the cargo ships transporting the cholesterol, the triglycerides, the vitamins, the phospholipids to your bloodstream, more risk that they stick to the endothelium and get down into that intimal space. When they're in that intimal space, they'll cause the intima to swell more. And eventually, if you don't shut that process, the immune system starts making plaque in there. And the plaque has different cellular debris, has different immune 
compounds, and then there's the damaged cholesterol particles that get stuck in there. And you get this gruel, it's like a pimple in the wall of your artery, an abscess. So that salt plaque will build up over time and your body's still trying to take care of it. Over time, it may fibrose or scar down or start calcifying, but that sometimes takes a little bit of time. So you wanna to try to catch that person before it gets down to that, where it gets a rock in their artery wall. So the carotid scan will look at that thickness. Normally it should be less than half a millimeter thick, but the thicker it is, the more likely you're to develop plaque in the rest of your 60,000 miles of blood vessels. So what goes on in your carotid artery correlates pretty well with what goes on in your coronary arteries. So the thickness will also indicate your vascular age. So again, that quote, a man is as old as his arteries. So if you have really thick arteries, you're likely laying down plaque or you've not yet regressed the plaque that was building up in your arteries. And so if you're biologically 45, but your arteries come back at 65, you're basically a 65 year old man with a nice looking outer shell. So with aggressive lifestyle changes, supplements, medication, frequently we can get that plaque to at least stabilize. And over six to 12 months, if you lower the inflammation and do a few other things, you'll generally see that intima shrinking down and the artery age getting less. A little bit further down the, the pathway of you know, atherosclerosis would be that you'd actually start seeing soft plaque present. So generally at that stage, it's less than 30%. You know, if you put a stethoscope on their neck, you're not gonna necessarily hear a brewery. A patient's not gonna feel anything, but they're showing that they're developing plaque in their arterial system. So if you see soft plaque in the artery, you wanna help them lower inflammation, you know, make sure their blood pressure is optimized, look at their lipoproteins and optimize it if you need to. And then in six, 12 months, you repeat the ultrasound and you'll see the salt plaque typically shrinking down. And over time, potentially the plaque regresses or goes back to normal. Um, so the carotid interval medial thickness test is a uh, benchmark test that I routinely recommend to my patients at Apollo Cardiology. You know, if you want to know how healthy your arteries are, you got to go looking for it. You can't just guess. Um, you know, famous cardiologist that I did some training under, uh, Dr. Joel Kahn, you know, his saying is always, test, don't guess. You know, just doing biomarkers and labs just tells you what's floating through your bloodstream. It doesn't tell you necessarily what's going on with your arteries. So, you know, if you're willing to go get a mammogram to look at your, you know, breast tissue as a woman, you should be willing to do some type of non-invasive testing that looks at your heart arteries. And in this case, you look at your carotid artery, which correlates pretty well with what's going on in your coronary arteries. So that's what I want to share with you guys tonight is go over the carotid intermedial thickness test. Uh, I will take any questions if there are any tonight. Uh, and then next week, we'll talk more about endothelial function. That endothelium is the inner lining of your arteries. It's one cell thick and it's extremely important. You need healthy endothelium to keep healthy arteries. And there's a couple of tests that you can do. Some of them are at home. Some of them, you, you know, need a doctor's uh, uh, office that has the equipment to be able to do. But I'll teach you a little bit more about endothelial function and what you can do to optimize that. But now I'll uh, open up to any questions that we have tonight. And while we're waiting for the questions to come in, no, none of these lights behind me are photobiomodulation lights. You know, they're just to uh, make my house kind of look like a submarine so I don't mess up my uh, blue light receptors in my eye, the melanopsin receptors. And so right now I'm still wearing the more the you know, the day glasses, I'll switch out to the, the red tinted ones. You're about an hour before I want to go to bed because I'm highly sensitive to those glasses, so I'll be unconscious if I put the uh, the red tinted lenses on. But anyway, that's just a uh, huh, red LED I think I got from Home Depot or Lowe's, and that's a UVA bulb I got from Home Depot or Lowe's. Well, all right, guys, well, short and sweet, you know, carotid intimal medial thickness test, not non-invasive test, 10 minutes long, find out how old you are. If you want to get that test here in St. Louis, just uh, call us up at Apollo Cardiology or send me a message and we'll get in contact with you. But if you don't uh, live in the St. Louis area, there generally are some uh, hospital systems that offer the test. Sometimes there's a couple of traveling companies that will come to a doctor's office to do them. Um, so. We do work with patients out of the St. Louis area, and sometimes if they get the test remotely, we can help them interpret it and come up with a plan to help progress the plaque if it's present. So have a great week, guys, and I'll see you next week.